Hi, welcome to Nightbird Tarot. My name is Brooke, and this is your November Tarot forecast for 2014. And this reading is for Aquarius. And Aquarius, I hope you had a great month in October. And I'm doing something a little bit different this month. I'm using a different deck, and I'm going to shuffle the cards on camera before the reading. I normally shuffle the cards before the videos because I take a long time to shuffle but I'm back to my shuffling days so with you. So let's get started, Aquarius, and see what's in store for you for the month of November. Here we go. Aquarius. You have a court card in your atmospheric elements or qualities for the month of November. And it's a court card involving money. And this could be actual people in your life in terms of your money, or this could be attributes of a person that you may be dealing with involving your money. But it's the King of Pentacles. And the King of Pentacles can be characteristics of an older gentleman, a business person, a financial advisor, a banker, someone who is in command or knowledgeable about finances, banking, monetary things. So this person is in your atmospheric elements or qualities for the month of November. This could also have a place in your life in terms of this person. There may be things surrounding this person this month. These could also be characteristics of Aquarian men that are watching. But this person may be relevant in your life events this month or something surrounding this person. This could also be characteristics of things in your life for Aquarius. So this is what's crowning you for the month of November. Now with this, you have... You have contrast in your reading, and another sign have that too in terms of relationships three signs ago. Scorpio. Scorpio had this as well. You have this too, and it's one of family, relationships, and then love and support, but there's conflict in potentials for strife as well. So it's kind of like this paradox of emotions going on. But you have, in the beginning of your month for November, Aquarians, feelings of feeling restricted, feeling trapped in a situation, feeling restricted, but kind of of your own making. Like, you have the key to unlock the door, so to speak. And Virgo had this part too, but you have the key to unlock the door to your own entrapment. So it's very mental as well, where you feel kind of powerless. Like you feel stuck in this situation, or you feel a little bit entrapped in the situation, and you really don't know how to get out of it. And it seems to be surrounding a relationship and it's the Page of Cups. Now, pages can represent children as well, but in this significance, this is a situation involving relationships. And there's a lot of passion and emotion 
in this situation or relationship, ones of feelings, renewal of feelings, of emotions, passion, and really trying to contain it all and keep it together. But it's a relationship card and it's very, very important to you. Now what's interesting is, here's this relationship card and here's this position of feeling restricted or trapped. And then on the other side of this relationship card is a feeling of emptiness. Like, so you get your way in a situation, a relationship, but it's like an empty victory, so to speak, if you know what I mean. And this is not necessarily you. This could be other people in your life as well, which is represented by this king. But they've gotten away with something or they have maybe used tactics that, you know, weren't so wonderful to begin with, but they're winning, but they may not feel so great about it in the end. Or maybe perhaps you've done some things or you may be doing some things this month, Aquarians, where you may be fighting very hard for a situation or relationship, but it's kind of like this empty feeling, like this empty win, like, okay, you know, I, I did this or I got that person, but now what? Like, like what fueled your motivation was is no longer there, like it's gone. Like the fuel for the motivation to do things, to get a certain relationship or to land a certain person, that's what fueled you. Now that you got that or now that you got this person, you're kind of feeling deflated because you were gaining strength from that, from the chase, so to speak. Do you know what I mean? So. Sometimes the chase is more exciting and landing or getting that relationship is more exciting. And when you finally have it, you kind of don't feel the same. If that resonates with you, let me know. But so anyway, so you have these conflict cards surrounding this relationship. And what's interesting is then you have another set of conflict with another set of a relationship. And you have the Major Arcana card, and it's the Temperance card. And the angel is pouring water from one goblet, because these this is the medieval times, this is a goblet, from one goblet into another goblet, and she's transferring the energies of water into each goblet and it's not spilling a drop. It's so contained of, and is so perfect and so aligned. And that's the flow that's represented by tight relationships of getting along well with others. There's a natural flow. There's a natural energy pattern where you can't break that bond. Nobody can break that bond. But at the same time, there's something going on with this relationship. And I think we're dealing with more than one relationship. I think there may be something surrounding father type figures this month for some Aquarians and something surrounding perhaps a, not a marriage, so to speak, but something that is a relationship, a deep relationship, but not on a marriage type level. And then I think this is a relationship that's kind of your relationship with the world. And you're getting away with something. You're kind of sneaking around or you're kind of feeling like you're getting away with something. Or perhaps Aquarians this month, you may be feeling like someone else is kind of getting away with something or being sneaky. If there's sneaky behaviors on your part or for somebody else, this is relative. This is noted for Aquarians this month. And I'm going to clarify for this because there's conflict. But there seems to be like two different things going on 
two to three different things going on in areas of your relationships. So let's clarify Aquarians. So there's definitely something surrounding family. You have the Ten of Pentacles, and the Ten of Pentacles is a family card. This could be family businesses, family investments, family events, something to do with family and something perhaps revolving around family money. But this is a family card. So something's definitely going on. And because you have the King of Pentacles and they're the same suit, he, to me, I'm getting the feeling that he's like the father. He's like the head of the household. He's the father archetype. And he is the heading of your reading. And then these two other relationships are like your subheadings. Aquarians this month. So something's really going on for you for relationships. And Scorpio had this kind of the same feel to it as well. Something to do with family, conflict, relationships, and trying to keep the flow. And my advice to you, Aquarians, is what I gave to Scorpio, which is you may need to take the higher ground and be the bigger person this month and be like, okay, hey, this is what's really important is love, support, relationships, and really get down to what is really, really important and what is really what matters. Because, you know, family, relationships, that's what we're all here for. That's what it's all about. And sometimes families can get a little wacky, you know. I was telling... Maybe it was Scorpio I was telling that. When I was growing up, I thought my family was so normal <laughs> until I hit my 30s, and I'm like, oh, my God, you know, my family's just, like, so crazy half the time, and and I, it never, I never really understood or really saw how different everybody's role is in a family and how everybody's so different. But you, these differences bring everybody together, and that's what love is, is accepting everybody's differences. So good luck to you this month, Aquarians. Keep me posted. If you'd like a paid private reading with me, you can email me at nightbirdtarot at gmail.com. You can also check out my Nightbird Tarot WordPress blog for all the types of spreads that I offer. I'm also on Etsy. You can see my Etsy shop. I make earrings and other tarot things and check that out as well have a great month aquarians i'll be back next month for december hopefully so keep me posted take care and i'll speak to you soon